The inquiry to exonerate a man already executed for killing his three children is now underway. Arson evidence was used to convict Todd Willingham in 1992 for setting fire to his Corsicana home, but now questions are being raised about that very fire evidence. Fox 7's Nancy Zambrano joining us live from the Travis County Justice Complex with the story. Nancy? And Loriana, the family of Todd Willingham was in court today, but just to give you some background information on this case, last week Judge Charles Baird was asked to recuse himself from this case by the Navarro County DA, but today Judge Charles Baird came back and said that he would stay on the case and that the Navarro County DA had no grounds to ask him to ask him to recuse himself because he wasn't part of that lawsuit. Now, that's when the Navarro County inside the courtroom stormed out of the courtroom. He said he was headed to file a motion to block the entire hearing from happening. But the hearing continued. Attorneys for the Willingham family contend that the forensic fire evidence that concluded the fire was arson was wrong. A fire analysis expert testified for about two hours explaining how certain mistakes were made in that investigation and the conclusion to that investigation. Here's an exchange between Judge Baird and that expert inside the courtroom. From everything you know about the Willingham case, do you believe that... Uh there was no scientific evidence to support arson? Or what is your bottom line here? Was it an accidental fire? Or, or what, what do you the bottom line is that all of the evidence is consistent with an accidental fire. I can't go back and reinvestigate the fire, unfortunately, and I can only use the documentation that the fire marshal collected and provided. Um, but what I have seen that the fire marshal put forward as evidence of arson is not evidence of arson. And Willingham was also convicted on the testimony of a jail inmate. And attorneys say that inmate after the trial claimed that he was benefiting from that testimony given and then recanted the statement that Willingham had confessed to him that he had killed his children in that fire. Now, last week, Willingham's ex-wife, Tracy Kirkendall, she was here. She spoke to reporters and she said that um, right before he was executed, Willingham confessed to her that he did, in fact, set that fire and that he did kill his children. As we mentioned Willingham's family was here today. They told us that that is not true and that they hope that this inquiry will prove that. Now, uh, this hearing is going on today till about 530 and then it is scheduled to begin tomorrow again. Back to you.